Hey, what's up guys? It's Dre, happy Friday. We're here in my kitchen. We're doing a little cheat meal today. Um, something that uh, we came up with earlier and I thought I'd try it out. There's this cookbook I have, it's uh, Tommy Bahama Flavors of Aloha. Um, and I'm gonna put all these recipes, I'll post the full recipes in the description so don't worry about writing it down or anything. But um, we're gonna do some uh, Lomi Lomi uh, salmon and some General So's uh, chicken. So um, basically, uh, I'm gonna walk through a little bit of step-by-step -step how I do it, post it all online for you guys, just kind of wanted to give you the quick overview, and I'll post the full recipes um, shortly on the uh, description. So uh, enjoy, stay tuned. Uh, you guys are gonna see some cool stuff here. Uh, it's not something we eat every day, but occasionally you gotta kind of live it up and have fun, right? So happy Friday, talk to you soon. All right, so uh, first part of the general so is you have to marinate the chicken for just 10 or 20 minutes. I've got my little marinade right here. Uh, pretty simple, it's uh, two egg whites, a tablespoon of soy sauce. Um, instead of soy sauce, I like to use these liquid aminos, so that's one of my little hacks. Liquid aminos in lieu of soy sauce, and just a little bit of uh, ground white pepper. So that's all this is. And then the uh, recipe called for uh, chicken thighs. I, had, I, I decided to do a little bit extra and I made those breasts. So I've got about a 50 50 mix of breast and thighs. I'm going to throw these up in here. Um, marinate. Let it marinate. Just like 10 or 20 minutes is all just to marinate. While that's marinate, I'm going to put together the uh, salmon appetizer, crush that, and uh, we'll get back to y'all a little bit. But uh, I'm going to let this do its thing and uh, get ready to uh, here we go. So. So we're gonna do the appetizer right now. We've got the, uh, the chicken is marinating in the fridge. This is called Lomi Lomi Salmon. Evidently, this is called, according to this book, the Hawaiian bruschetta. No idea, who knew? But um, it's basically uh, lox that I've soaked in cold water for about an hour and take a little bit of the salt out of there. Um, and then it's a mixture of uh, tomato, uh, sweet onion and green onion in here. So all I'm gonna do essentially is mix those together. And, and I did dice the, the salmon up after I drained it, uh, about a half inch dice, and uh, just kind of, kind of mix this up a little bit. You wanna get um, kind of the, just kind of gently, gently, not squeeze them at all, but kind of gently, kind of just give a little, a little nudge to the tomatoes. You can kind of release some of the juices and flavors and get them up into the rest of the mix. But um, I think this is gonna be pretty decent. Uh, eat it with some flatbread or whatever you want, really. But um, that's all there is to this. So we're gonna enjoy a little bit of this here in a second uh, while the chicken is marinating. And when we're done with this, we'll get the general soda ready to work. So, uh, that's it. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get, uh, Finished uh, killing off that uh, most of that the lomi lomi salmon. It was pretty pretty good, so I definitely highly recommend it. We'll uh, put the recipe. Uh, see, I think we're getting some uh, some nods from the uh, from, from Deb back there. So uh, to uh, check it out, we'll put the uh, recipe on the, the description. But uh, for the general shows, uh, we've got the uh, the wok uh, heating up back there. The chicken marinated. It's ready to rock now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that. We're gonna dust it a little bit of cornstarch. Set it over here and get it ready to uh, cook. So take a little spoon and let just a little bit of that whatever's excess uh, drip off and throw it in there. I'm gonna do a few batches at once here. And we'll mix it up. Um, and that's it. So we're gonna get this going and see how this works. Pieces and we're going to cook them in a wok here in a minute, like I said. Um, I think it's going to come out pretty good, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, what's up? We're back. So we've got all of our little chicken pieces all dusted here in cornstarch. It's got set in. It's ready to go to our oil. That's uh, preheated at about medium high, uh, so that's ready to go. I'm gonna cook these, and this is a, this is a wok. You want to use something like this, something with kind of a high a high side pan, so you can get enough oil that it can you know be fully submerged in there. 
Um, what else? What else? Uh, we're gonna do that. So it's gonna be about three minutes uh, per batch. You don't want to crowd them uh, too much. So it can take a couple of batches, but it's fine. It takes about three minutes. Um, and then once I'm done with each batch, I'm just gonna set them in here in a, a roasting pan with on the wire rack. Just stick back back in the oven at 200, uh, just to keep them nice and warm until it's all done and we're ready to put in our sauce. So uh, we're gonna take our first batch here and let's uh, drop a few of these guys into the oil. You can see uh, see if they're rocking. check that so all right so we're going to take this first batch out we're going to see how they're doing anyway so be careful kill ourselves they're looking pretty good uh, pretty good i think they're done we're going to set these guys over here get them all out they're looking pretty, uh, pretty solid so yeah that was three minutes uh, medium high, make a little bit of a mess off the layer, but get too much oil on the piece. And what I did with this too is I, I sprayed the rack with a tiny little bit of cooking spray just so none of my guys stick to the rack. So, can't be losing any protein, you know what I'm saying? So, gotta make sure we get all that down. That's right, baby. So that's batch one, and uh, gonna do a couple more batches, and then we will finish uh, finish her up. Okay. All right, let's go. Also, the chicken is done. Just warm in the oven. Last thing I'm gonna do is gonna whip up the sauce. Uh, it takes about one minute. So I've got the oil heat up. You can come over here and check this out. I'm gonna drop a few chilies in there. About ten seconds or so. Some steam up here. So, so. There. Right here, I've got some green onions and some garlic. It's about to go in there as well. Um, put in there. Seconds. Ooh, how's that smell? Pretty good, huh? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Nice. And then the last thing we're gonna do oh, yeah. pretty good, huh? And then the last thing we're gonna do is gonna throw in the sauce. So that is the procedure. This is a mixture of, of um, chicken broth, soy sauce, to, uh, ketchup, sugar, which I substituted stevia for, um, some rice vinegar, hoisin sauce, and a little bit of cornstarch. And I'll put all this in the um, in the video description. So the recipe will be there. Mm, so it smells amazing. Yeah. And that's going to let that thicken. And last thing I'm going to do here, we're going to get the chicken out. You can see it's been warming in there on the rack at 200 degrees, so. Yum. Chicken is a go. Yeah, starting to thicken up a little bit. Yeah, buddy. And then we're going to just put our chicken in here. Mm -hmm. Drop it in. 
The recipe called for um, a pound. I ended up putting in probably closer to two pounds. So other than that, it's pretty much spot on. But I'll put it in here the way I made it. As shown on the video. And this one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. You know. All right, we're gonna give this guy so. And there you are, my friends, General Sir. There you go. General Sir, and there you go. And uh, we will check this out in just a minute. Okay. All right, what's up, folks? We're back. Uh, here is the uh, finished product of the General Sir's. Came out pretty well. So I am going to put the full uh, recipe in the description. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, uh, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, have an awesome weekend. And we'll talk to you soon. Peace. I'm out.